Hey, Kim here from Craft Buggy. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to put alcohol ink on a coffee mug. I have done this on a tumbler before and I love how it turned out, but I decided I really wanted something colorful and fun to drink my coffee out of in the morning from a coffee cup. So why not cover it in alcohol ink? Um, usually I have the product completely finished and done for you in this intro video so I can show you how it's going to turn out. So this is kind of a unique video. We're just going to do it together and see what works best because there's a couple different techniques you can use. Um, whenever you're putting the alcohol on your cup, you can use a dropper or you could just soak a um, paper towel in alcohol before you put the ink on. I think I'm going to do this method. Um, and then when spreading the alcohol ink, you can use a straw, which I think I'm going to try that. Um, but I could see people getting really lightheaded with this method. Um, <laughs> you can also use some kind of like, like I'm using, you could use this embossing gun and it'll just blow the air out and kind of diffuse everything. Um, we're just gonna find out what works. So I'm really excited to just start this adventure with you guys. Um, you're also going to need gloves. This alcohol ink, like any kind of alcohol ink, it's gonna stain the daylights out of your hands. So wear gloves. You wanna be in a well-ventilated room. Mask is a good idea. Um, and then afterward, after I have all the color on here, I'm going to cover this in resin. And so um, you, if you don't want to use resin, you can also use um, some kind of sealer. Um, I, have, I have a sealer downstairs. I can actually bring it up and show you um, what you can use. So there's a lot of different options and I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and get started. So... I wanted to show you, I'm using three different types of alcohol ink. So I'm gonna be using Tim Holtz, which I love this brand, just ignore how dirty it is. Um, I get kind of messy when I do arts and crafts, so color gets everywhere. Um, and then I'm also gonna be using this Pinata brand. And then I found these guys on Amazon, it's Decor Rum. Um, they're they had a lot of really fun colors, so I decided to try it and I love it. So I'm gonna be using just a mix of everything. Um, and then I found this copper color from Tim Holtz and I'm pretty excited. Can't see that really. Come on, focus, there we go. Um, we'll see if I end up using that. There's this um, pearl color as well. It's kind of like an iridescent. I just love it. So I don't know what we'll be using. We're just gonna kind of play with it and see where this journey takes us. All right, so it is smart to wipe your project down. Okay, so it is smart to always start with wiping your entire project down with alcohol um, just to make sure there's no little artifacts hanging out on there. You want to make sure the sticker, the stickiness of the sticker is gone from the bottom. Then we can start. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to kind of play with it. So I'm going to go ahead and dip my little paper towel in alcohol. You can see there's alcohol all over here. And then I'm just gonna, and then I'm gonna go for it. So it kind of runs, I'm gonna use my straw. Oh, that's so fun. And then you can keep adding alcohol or you can use your little dropper and just kind of like drop it on there. Whoop, I kind of made a mess. That's okay. And just drop it. Ah, oh, that's so fun. You can just kind of mix and match however you want. Um, I think I'm going to add a little bit of purple. Do it right here, actually. And I'm just going to do pretty much this throughout the entire cup.
Now I'm going to go ahead and mix some of this copper mixative as well as the pearl. I do not know how this is going to turn out. We shall see. I'm just gonna call it quits because if I keep monkeying with it, I'm gonna get myself in trouble. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm going to put some resin on it. I'm gonna go ahead and place my resin on the cup. Um, if you don't have resin, you don't wanna use resin. I've seen people put this on their cups before and they say it works pretty well. I am however gonna use a food grade resin because I'm going to be drinking out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and get that mixed up. We'll place the resin and then I'm going to wait overnight and we'll see what it looks like in the morning. Welcome back. It's actually been two days, not one. I had kind of a an issue. I had a bubble pop on the resin and I wasn't able to save it. So I had to do another coat. Um, but then I decided to do a bunch of others in the meantime. So I'll show you what those look like. But here's the one we were working on before. Ignore my awful looking fingernails right now. But I I just love how it turned out. I think it's so fun. It's really pretty. Um, I'm not as much into the darker colors. And at first I didn't know how I felt about this copper, but I actually, I really love it. Now that the resin's on it and it's shiny, I'm so happy with it. I just think it's gorgeous. Um, my other cups that I did are a lot brighter. They're not fully, fully cured, but I just wanted to show you real quick. Um, I'll try to maneuver it gently, but yeah, you can see it's just a lot brighter. And then this guy right here, same thing, just very bright. I love that. I think it's so much fun. Um, and then I have another one that I started working on. It's actually still very much not done, so I'm not even going to take it off the rotisserie, but, um, you can see, I'll show you on this side here. This is what happens when you don't let the alcohol ink dry fully and then you start to put resin on it. But I still love how it turned out. I think it's so beautiful. I love this side of it. it just looks like a Starburst, pink one. I love it. Um, I think next time I kind of want to try to put glitter on it. Um, you know how I am with glitter, but someone told me I need to tone it down. So I tried toning it down and this coppery shimmery thing was my way of cheating and putting some kind of shimmer on there. Um, but I'd actually love to see what you come up with. If you try this, I'd love to see what your creations look like. Um, go ahead and visit me at craftbuggy.com. You can show me and uh, post a picture of what you made. And then um, I also have step-by-step -step written instructions on how to do this if you'd rather have that. Um, and then go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I, I love doing this. And if you have any other craft ideas that you want me to show you, I would love, would love your suggestions. So um, I will see you next week and I look forward to seeing you then. Bye.